So we signed the corporate covenant back in uh, November 2014. And if you look internally, the corporate covenant is the start point of our commitment. And that internal bit, getting your employment policies, is absolutely the first place uh, you should start. You need to be squeaky clean as an employer of reservists, as an employer who is committed to supporting the military. And the covenant lays out those principles from which your employment policies can flow. HR driven in Atkins. Difficulty that we've got, and it will be useful to hear from other colleagues later on whether you find the same. There's no way that employees who have a reserve commitment are compelled to tell you, about, tell you about that. So reaching out to a community of reserves or indeed ex-military employees is really difficult. There is no compulsion on those people to tell you about it. And if you want to help them and you want to make sure you're doing the right thing by them, you want to know that you've got them all. And Atkins is going through that really difficult process of how many have we got, which part of the business are in, how do they want to be helped? Do they want to be recognised as requiring specific or different support? Or are they quite happy, are they quite happy to be embedded with an organisation and just treated like any other employee? So there's a difficult one there around internal employment processes and policies. If we look externally, this is about advocacy. So from the Covenant, we then step into the Defence Employment Recognition Scheme. And as I said, Atkins will be going for gold over the, the next month. And this is about how do we make other people aware of our commitment to the armed forces. And there are the whole panoply of activities uh, and events that we all get involved in to push our support, all of which is really good stuff. But it plays internally back as well. So this is an external commitment that reinforces the message to the workforce that we're putting our money where our mouth is, that we actually mean what we say, and we can deliver the benefits that we see from that relationship, which, as I say again, for somebody like Atkins, comes back to the bottom line on the business.